Hey again, it's me, I'm VR. I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to use the costume since there was a recent, uh, there was an update, it's quite a long time ago, I'm just late on it. I know Marissa uploaded a video on this, but I just wanna, you know, just in case other people haven't seen it, I'm just gonna share it. So, um, let's just get, get straight to the video. So, first, you can access your makeup band through your watch or through your bag. So, you'll always find one of these costume dummies in props and dynamic. But since it's already spawned one. So the first thing that they change is that you could just edit on that part where you want to change it. But I don't want to give this guy. I want to give this guy a top hat. I could just go like that. Then manipulate it upwards. Just give him like a very long top hat. I could just select all of this, move it. Okay, I'm not really the best at making costumes, but you can just put it like that. And then if I just stop editing, you can just wear it. It'll be on you. Yeah, so you could do it for every single part. If here, I could do it too. I could just do a. Uh, let's just do uh that. Yeah, I just do like that. Should I just give him a tie? I don't really know how to make a tie in Rec Room, but that will do, it's fine. Or you could give him like... But like, you get, you get the point, so if I like just put a... If I just put a... square right a square right there don't edit the thing for where it's gonna disappear and obviously go on me right there so you could do the same thing with the hands I could give it like let's pretend like let's change my uniform shapes you could give it you can give it like Wolverine claws then I didn't really know how to build uh, and then if you just stop editing, do it the same on the other side. Just go give it the Wolverine claws. That. It would land, it doesn't look great, so if you just wear it. Right there. So, yep. So, the other ways to do this now that you could do, I'm just delete these so it won't, cause for me it's kind of distracting. Get it one more. Since now you do that, uh, there's a there's this new three arrows. The first one is to equip the player ID, so you could get a certain player's ID number, then put it into that, so it could equip them as soon as they join the game. Then it keeps player ID. So, so if I th I'm pretty sure if I just if so those two buttons would always work a trigger zone. If I just get a trigger zone player ID as soon as I walk into it it'll make me wear it and then I'm pretty sure if I exit zone so now it's on it's on uh wireless you can make it go like that so if, as soon as I enter it makes you unequip I enter again makes me unequip equip unequip or I used it the wrong way actually I was it was to do an exiting zone. So I could do it when I'm in the trigger zone, I'm wearing it when I exit, it equips on equips. That's a great way for your custom maps where you could just go So for that whole level I'm gonna, I'm gonna go through the whole level has a trigger zone which will make them wear it. At the end of that level when they go through like go close to the door, you walk out the trigger zone, it got on equip it. And then this wire it pretty much does the same. Or like track the person who's wearing it. So, yep, that's it. And thanks for watching.